best bites forever. Hi, I'm Chef Alicia, and today I'm making bacalaoitos with my father-in-law, and this is his brother's recipe who lives in Puerto Rico, and this recipe is seriously so good, your eyes will roll back in your head when you take a bite. Esa es la verdad, esta es la receta, la receta de mano mío Dima, que vive en Cagua, y el que diga que no le gusta esta receta, embuste tuyo. <laughs> When you take the bacalao out of the package, it is covered in salt, so you need to rinse it. Put it under cold water, and we're going to soak this overnight, but we're going to change the water out a couple of times. Keep in mind, part of this fish that I have is for bacalao. Once you've soaked your fish, you're going to boil it for 15 minutes, and then set it to the side and let it cool down until you can touch it with your hands. There, It almost has like a natural split there, and you can just do that and have little, little slivers. Sometimes you'll have some of this white skin on the fish and you can use your nail or just a spoon and scrape it off. We're going to start off with a quarter pound of very small pieces of bacalao. Next I'm going to put two cups of flour along with a half a pack to a pack of sazon into a bowl, a half of a teaspoon of baking powder and if you like yours fluffy then do a teaspoon and then two teaspoons of kosher salt and put that to the side. Next I'm going to chop up some rakao so this is what that is. I'm using eight leaves but you can adjust this to your own taste. Just kind of fold it over and then chop it nice and thin and we're going to be adding it into a mortar and pestle, a pilon. And I have two tablespoons of garlic in there, but again, adjust that to your own flavor. And also a half of a white onion. Chop that all up nice and thin and put it in there. And we're going to also add four to six black peppercorns, a word to the wise. It is easier to do that at the beginning, but I forgot, so they went in after. Mash it until it looks like this and then go back to your flour mixture and give it a nice stir so that everything is combined and then we're going to add that onion mixture into the flour. Get that in there and then give it a nice stir until it is nice and combined and the next thing we're going to add is some water. I will be using two cups of water all together but I'm going to add it a third at a time. So pour some water, stir it all in, pour some water, stir it all in and then pour the last third of the water and stir it in until you have a nice even consistency. Aquí estamos haciendo bacalaito frito, una de las cosas más favoritas de cualquier boricua que haga por ahí. And here, my father-in-law is showing us how to make the bacalaitos. Estamos agarrando un poquito de bacalao aquí, lo echamos, ya lo tenemos aquí preparado. So here we have put a small amount of batter into a one cup measuring cup, and then a little bit of fish on top, and then a little bit more batter on top. That just helps have a consistency so there's the same amount of fish in each one of the bacalaitos. Es el proceso. Be sure to turn these over in the oil when they are about halfway done cooking. So you're going to cook them on both sides and then put them onto a rack with some paper towels under it to drain. 